I only this uh, now this year uh, marks the one of the anniversaries of the trying to remember the mistakes of uh, the white Americans who uh, started the Chinese massacre of 1871, one of the more worst uh, mass uh, lynchings in uh, U.S. history, and this is one of the things that uh, should not be uh, forgotten and should be remembered, and uh, and uh, Americans uh, should uh, remember to this happened, and we'll know, we won't make the same mistake, and and crazy stuff won't happen because uh, you know because. With the some uh, incidents uh, that happened back in the day, uh, they, uh, there are some people who act, still act like it happened happened right now, and uh, they're acting crazy about it. And you probably heard it with a lot of that Black Lives Matter stuff, uh, but yeah, we're not here to talk about that. So what happened? So the beloved uh, Dr. Jean Tong was uh, dragged to the roughest street in Los Angeles uh, by an angry mob calling for his quick death by hanging. So uh, Dr. Tong was uh, bargain for the life begging the, his uh, white captors to take his money or his diamond ring instead, hoping they would spare him of a gruesome fate in exchange for mo monetary gains. Uh, but instead, uh, he received a bullet to the face. His uh, friends frantic pleas uh, silenced as blood uh, gurgled from his uh, wound in his mouth. So they sh literally shot him dead. And and he wasn't the only one. So he, along with 17 other Chinese uh, men and boys, were hung from a makeshift the gallows. Uh, a finger severed from his uh, left hand. The ring. Like his life had been taken from a mob of uh, about uh, 500 men who shared uh, one common sentiment, uh, their frenzied hate for the Chinese. And uh, just as a recap, uh, the Chinese uh, people uh, who were brought over from uh, China to uh, help uh, make the uh, intercolonial railway from uh, the west to the east, east coast. Yeah, they were the ones who uh, did most of the dangerous work, and also in Canada too. <laughs> and the, the Chinese people who were brought over, they were trying to make money, so they go back, go back to China and uh, lead, have a successful life. But uh, they were many that could not go back because, yeah, they weren't paid very much, and and uh, these uh, white folks, uh, they were they had a hatred uh, for. Uh, the Asians are uh, thinking they weren't, uh, they didn't belong. Uh. Unfortunately for the broken uh, Chinese uh, families and businesses, they were unable to bring their attackers to justice, uh, a law preventing a person of a Chinese descent to testify against a white person. Uh, that was uh, apparently established, and so, uh, which is completely unfair. And so it's only uh, eight of the 500 men were ever convicted for their actions during the Chinese massacre on the night of October 24th, 1871. And there's an old-time photo of an uh, Asian person uh, on the ground, shot dead. And uh, just looking at it, and there's an old time map uh, back in the USA, uh, and we're also in the Los Angeles where the hanging ha happened uh, over the 18 uh, Chinese uh, men and boys, uh, including doc Dr. Jean Tong. And uh, there's an old time photo and. Uh, And the street uh, surface looks uh, very uh, rough uh, back when uh, there was no uh, paving and it was just all dirt street and such. And uh, 
and there's a painting of uh, so many uh, white men uh, attacking Chinese uh, people, and uh, and there's a plaque uh, where it's uh, written in. Uh, in English and also Chinese uh, explaining the situation and it's just sad that uh, These uh, Chinese people uh, were targeted uh, for their differences, and although they didn't do anything wrong, uh, it's uh, obvious that they were attacked because of their differences. And many uh, Americans are uh, commenting uh, about uh, why weren't we, we talked this in a history uh, class. And of course, uh, this was something uh, they would not be uh, taught. And uh, that they don't really teach uh, much uh, stuff uh, on that uh, Asian stuff. And people should not be attacked in any form or way just because of their, their color of their skin or just because they are from a different culture. And that that is like one mistake uh, white Americans uh, did that back in the day and and many of us uh, learn their lesson and that uh, they do not they do, do say, make the same uh, mistakes that uh, and did it back then but uh, but with the coronavirus uh, arising uh, unfortunately some people still don't know how to, they still haven't learned their lesson and And just because uh, they, some people are of uh, Asian background, that uh, doesn't mean they are uh, they're a part of it. And and it's uh, also uh, sad that uh, the Chinese people had had to do the most dangerous jobs uh, when uh, creating a intercolonial. Uh, Railway uh, doing that dangerous jobs, and and many of uh, these people are were hard workers and uh, trying to trying to make a living and oh well, they should really like teach us in uh, schools and people should remember let's not make the same mistakes. Uh, as our ancestor did back in the day. Because if there's going to be like a step to, towards equality, 
remembering history and learning from history and not making the same mistakes and don't act like that happening right now like uh, unfortunately like the black lives matter group the Because if you weren't there back in the day, you have uh, no uh, part of it, so uh, don't act like uh... So, let's learn from history, and, you know, and if you see an uh, Asian person being uh, attacked or harassed or uh, being, being a target of racism by uh, anybody, please uh, step in and... Uh, show your support. Just if, when you learn from history and not make the same mistakes that right now, you know, we can make things uh, more uh, fair and uh, equality can actually happen.